Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about the Mac Belt stationary bike. So the biggest reason we're checking out the Mac Belt bike is because it is a fraction of the cost of what you'd pay for a Peloton. So a basic Peloton bike is $1,200 plus all the stuff that you have to get for it and uh, the membership and things like that. The Mech Belt bike is $350 and it provides a lot of the same functionality that you would get with a Peloton. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so let's start with the size. It's a really nice compact stationary bike. It's about 40 inches from the front to the back and it's about 20 inches wide. And it probably stands about 45 inches or so um, from the floor to the top of the handlebars. The other nice thing about this bike is that it has Bluetooth connectivity and allows you to connect to multiple apps. So we're going to show you how we can connect with Bluetooth to the uh, eSoul app today and we'll show you that and we'll do a quick little ride with that. The other nice thing about this bike is that it has magnetic resistance so it's a much quieter ride and it's not, it's not you're not going to get the, the noise and that sort of thing that you get from like a felt pad. The bike itself has like a hundred different resistance levels as well and the resistance levels are easy just to, to move up on the plus sign or move down on the negative sign. The bike itself is suitable for riders who are 4'11 to 6'5. I think you'd be uh, at 6'5, I think it would be, you'd, you'd look pretty large on this bike but at the same time um, that's what the statistics say that you can do with this. Another feature that I really like is the ability, it has these small little caster wheels in front, which makes it easy for you to wheel around your office or, you know, just move if you want to do a different workout. So a couple things on the adjustableness of it. So you can see that the saddle itself, which they say should be at your hip level, so you want to make sure your saddle's at about your hip level. And then when you get on the bike, there's a couple things you're, you, you want to do with it. So the first thing is you want to make sure that your saddle of your, your seat that when you pedal, that your knees aren't going way forward up towards the handlebars. You want to make sure that your, your knees kind of stay just above your feet, so when you're pedaling, you have comfort and you're not going to um, cause any irritation to your knees. The second thing is, is the handlebar itself adjusts as well. So the handlebar is easily adjusted with this. You can just undo it, slide the handlebar up where you need to or where you don't. And that's more of a preference for any rider. So if you like to ride a little bit lower and bend more forward with it, then you can lower this. If you want to be kind of a higher rider, then you can be, you move the handlebar up for that as well. So the seat itself also allows you to move forward and back just a little bit. So not a ton, right? So there's a lever on the bottom, you just loosen, and it allows you to slide the seat forward or back a few inches, depending on your preference and depending on where your knees are above your, 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 uh, your pedaling feet. So let's show you how to get this working with one of the multiple apps. So the bike itself is Bluetooth, and I'll just show you really quick that it, all it is is a couple batteries in the front. So you put those batteries in, snap that in, and then what you can do is you can download one of the multiple apps. So there's, like a, there's five apps right now that are compatible with the bike itself. And what I did is I just used one of my old iPads and put it on so they, they have a rubberized flat like holder for anything that you'd want for your uh, either an iPad or a phone or something like that so it doesn't move around, right? And then you can pick a workout. So for this one, if you look at this, this is the uh, Soul app. So what you can do is just you scan through and you can see it's very similar to what you'd see on a Peloton. Um, and they have free rides and then of course they have more premium rides and things like that that you can do as well and you can pay a fee for it and uh, you know basically get a bunch more workouts. So they have anything from beginner to intermediate to advanced ride and you can see some of them are labeled as free so let's just we'll take one today and we'll show you that one. We're going to do this fat burning one. So when you hit start to it it says oh it failed to pair the bike right so what do you need to do? Well if you start pedaling the bike you tap the failed to pair. It'll search the bike. So you're riding the bike. It tells you what you need to do. Oh, there it found mine. Connection succeeded. There we go.
So, you know, it depends what you ride you want to do. So it tells you what kind of deer ride you're doing and it tells you when to adjust. So when you adjust and you want to add more resistance or your instructor tells you to add more resistance, you just turn it, add more resistance, it tells you on your screen, your resistance at 54, I need it to be at 65, okay, there we go. It tells you the cadence you need to be at. And then the other nice thing is, depending on which app you have, it'll sync to any kind of Bluetooth device that you have as well for a heart monitor or things along those lines as well. You also can sync with other riders depending on the app that you have. So Z, Z Wift is another app. You can sync with other riders if you want to ride with people, things like that. The only difference is you're probably, like you can see that you're getting apps and you're getting rides and things like that. I don't know the extent within the apps, how many rides you they have or if they're adding more to the library all the time. But that's really the only thing I'm not, um, I'm not sure of. Everything else you can see is very, very similar and you have the same functionalities that you would get on a Peloton bike. So, as you can see, the one thing I really do like about this bike is the price point of it, and it's, it is heavy duty. So the, the bike itself does not move, I'm about 180 pounds, it does not move around, right? It's not, not flimsy at all. And uh, I like that it's the, the price point because I cross train a lot. We have a rower, I lift weights, I run outside, but I wanted a bike as well. But I didn't want to spend um, the amount of money that it would cost me to get a Peloton, and then pay the amount of money it would cost for all the classes and things like that that a Peloton has. If that's your only workout, I understand when people get Pelotons, if that's what you do, right? If you're only a bike rider. Um, if you're doing other exercises and cross training, this is definitely a great option for you. So you can be a well-rounded exercise person and have some, some options if you get bored easily. And that's something I do too. Like I get bored. Sometimes I want to row, sometimes I want to ride, sometimes I want to run, sometimes I lift. So whatever you're looking to do, it gives you some options to it without breaking the bank of a huge price tag of a Peloton or an Echelon or any of the more expensive bikes that are out there. So another nice feature is they have these kind of the old school bike, you know, foot pedal cages. Um, I actually like it because I don't have to buy something in addition. I don't have to buy different shoes. So if I'm jumping on this, biking for 20 minutes, jumping off, doing a workout, I'm not switching shoes, I'm not doing any of that stuff. I'm literally doing, you know, the minimum of that. So other people in my family um, can use this as well because they don't have to have the special shoes or the right sizes or things like that. It's just, you know, jump on, you know, adjust the straps on the sides, start pedaling. And the other thing I really love about it is that it's quiet. So as I'm talking to you, I'm riding, do you hear it? Barely. So I love that it's quiet, that the magnetic resistance is really a wonderful feature of this. So that's it. Uh, get out of here, I'm going for a ride. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'll put a link in the description below to the bike. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If you've, if you've got this bike, if you're looking to upgrade your gym, or just have questions, I'm happy to answer them.